Hello and welcome to our news roundup for tonight. On this 45th anniversary of the national unity of the Sahrawi people, the president of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, Brahim Ghali, seized the opportunity to call on the United Nations and the Security Council to assume the responsibilities to guarantee the security and integrity of Sahrawi citizens and to relaunch the referendum process of self-determination. Ghali said that from this liberated territory, he would like to send a clear message to the whole world in order to ask the United Nations to honor their commitment and keep their promise to the Sahrawi people in order to allow them to freely express their sovereign choice through self-determination referendum. President Ghali also stressed the necessity to put an end to the violation of human rights recorded in the occupied territories. He called once again the security advisor to assume the responsibility to guarantee the safety and integrity of Sahrawi citizens in the occupied territories, adding that he owes them this move in order to express themselves freely. The president of the Ghast also paid tribute to the African continent, which adopted the Sahrawi case and welcomed the Sahrawi Republic as a full founding member within the African Union. The president of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, Brahim Ghali, expressed their gratitude to Algeria, calling it a brother country. Algeria, which has always supported the Sahrawi people in accordance with the principles of the glorious revolution of November 1st and requirements of international legality. Adding that they are proud of this position, especially at a time where Algeria is tracing its way towards a new stage with its people, its army and its civil society. Wishing every success for the country under the leadership of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Taboun. The results of the baccalaureate exams of the 2020 session will be announced on Wednesday, October 14, 2020, starting from 3 p.m. local time, according to a communique released by the National Education Ministry. The list of successful candidates will be published on the same day and at the same time across all educational institutions. The results will also be published on the official website of the National Bureau of Examinations and Competitions, as well as through the 7th State TV channel, Knowledge, or Al Marifa. The results can also be viewed free of charge on mobile phones for all phone operators via SMS. The success rate for the baccalaureate exam 2020 session reached 55.30% according always to the Education Ministry. As a reminder, candidates having obtained an average equal to or greater than 9 out of 20 in the baccalaureate exam session 2020 will be admitted on an exceptional basis. The Algerian technical team dispatched to Libya at the beginning of this month of October by an order of the President of the Republic succeeded in a record time in starting up a first turbine to boost the production of electricity on Libyan soil up to 250 megawatts. The team in question is multidisciplinary led by the CEO of Sonalgaz and composed of a dozen of engineers who were working around the clock and succeeded in intervening on the plant and repairing the failure in record time, knowing that this kind of intervention requires more than a month and a half of work. The President of the National People's Assembly, or Lower House of Parliament, ANP, Siman Shinin, called on Tuesday to vote for the draft revision of the Constitution, encouraging the MPs to campaign for this referendum to raise citizens' awareness on the importance of this event and the amendments' proposals, which include several plans likely to concretize the great project of the new Algeria. The ANP speaker gathered the office of the Assembly as a reminder to submit the 2021 Finance Draft Bill to the Finance and Budget Committee for a review. The Bureau of the Assembly also decided to hold a closed-door meeting next Tuesday to decide on the request for the lifting of parliamentary immunity of two members of the ANP. The advisor of the President of the Republic in charge of the associative movement and the national community abroad, Nazir Paramdan, assured from Alwet province during his meeting with civil society that their role in the dynamics of New Algeria is not only to be attentive, but rather to be a force of proposal to face the obstacles 
and difficulties. Nazir Paramdan announced the development of a program aimed at encouraging the spirit of solidarity and volunteering within the society. He indicated in this context that the amendment of the Constitution contains the evidence of a sincere intention of partnership with civil society. He stressed that this move denounced the strong political will of the country's top leader. Through first, this commitment, which is none other than a deep reform of the Constitution to put it at the service of the citizen and the country, and to lay the foundation for a new Algeria. He added that among Algeria's commitments, the integration of civil society and its involvement in decision-making. He argued that this project would bring together all the actors and eliminate all the red tape practices and involve all actors in decision-making at the local level. For their part, the participants expressed their many concerns, and among the proposals, the inclusion of neighborhood committees in examining housing application files and signaling necessary public works at the local level. It's worth recalling that civil associations contain researchers, academics, among other competencies that Algeria needs to benefit from to build a new republic. Civil society actors from the province of Gherdaya organized a meeting in which they highlighted the importance of the referendum of November 1st, calling on the people to participate massively in this important event. For his part, the commander of the Muslim Scout Abdurrahman Hamzawi said from the province of Mistranem that the referendum of November 1st is a continuity of the Hirak or popular protest movement adding that the creation of the National Civil Society Observatory included in the Constitutional Revision Project will help organize associative action. In the province of Bumardas, lawyers and representatives of civil society who advocated for the draft revision of the Constitution affirmed that the President of the Republic wishes through this meeting to appeal to the Constitution's popular will. Tahar Shiha, the president of the National Confederation of Civil Society in the province of Tibissa, showed his support for the draft revision of the constitution. He said it enshrines the principle of the participatory democracy and it is the contribution of civil society in the fight against corruption. The General Secretary of the National Association for the Promotion of Citizenship and Human Rights, Hisham Belarif, assured that the draft revision of the constitution is an opportunity for change and the promotion of civil society, which also conveys concerns of citizens. The head of the Islah or Reform Movement, Filali Ghwini, held a meeting in the province of Biskra, where he highlighted the contribution of the constitution which constitutes a transition to a new Algeria, in which the state of rights and freedoms are enshrined. Mahend Barqouq, a member of the National Office of the National Popular Rally, RND, in Bumardas province, said that the draft revision of the constitution came to meet people's expectations, who aspire to build a true rule of law. The National Solidarity Minister Kautar Kriku affirmed from the province of Gherdaya that the constitutional revision project is a real guarantee for women's rights. At the Palace of Culture Mufdi Zakaria here in Algiers, an artist evening dedicated to one of Algeria's best poets and novelists, Mohamed Deeb, was held. Mohamed Deeb marked the Algerian cinema with his famous masterpieces, above all Al Hariq, The Fire, Dar al Kibira, or The Great House. The celebration of the anniversary was marked by great artistic show where music, dance, and theater were honored. The culture minister Malika Binduda said we made available to writers, translators and script writers to translate the works of Muhammad Deeb that are not translated into Arabic yet and adopt them to cinema and theater. The Public Works Minister, Farouk Shiali, said on Tuesday that the project to reinforce and repair the main tarmac at the Huari Boumediene International Airport in Algiers will be received by the end of October, specifying that this operation will allow the airport to be classified among the most secure and comfortable infrastructures at the regional level. On the sidelines of an inspection and working visit, he also stated that this infrastructure's entry into service will allow this international airport to accommodate wide-body planes. Farouk Shiali declared that this airstrip will be able to receive large aircrafts, which the airport had troubles with before, adding that the secondary runway is to be reinforced and, most importantly, it should have all the necessary security measures to be able to leave the airport open regardless of the climate and traffic conditions. 
163 new confirmed cases of coronavirus were registered in Algeria during the last 24 hours, while 110 people have recovered and left hospitals. Nine new deaths were also recorded, according to the spokesman of the National Commission in charge of monitoring the evolution of the coronavirus pandemic, Professor Jamal Forar, in his daily briefing. The national football team confirmed its good return to competition with a two-all draw with the Mexican squad in a friendly game held in the Netherlands city, The Hague. That's it for our news roundup. Thanks for joining us. Good night.